Okay, as you can see, I got a tire set up here. It's just a regular radial tire. I got a tube inside of it. This is basically going to be the uh, alternative to uh, double stuffing your tires. Looks like a normal air chuck, but actually I've got it clamped into a leftover spare hose to the washing machine hooked up to my garden hose hooked up to the wall the water on so basically what I'm going to be doing here is uh, and it takes for a while but I'll show you the basics so you see I get the tube clamped and uh, basically I'm going to be filling the tire with uh, water I used a brand new tube that's completely co collapsed doesn't have any air in it so it makes it easier but and uh, I've already did a test I, I get over 30 pounds of pressure so that's fine in Arizona you can get as high as 60 pounds out of the water sometimes but I'll start doing this and show you how long it takes and probably quit and you can see the end results later I'll put it at the end This is just orange spick and pan, span cleaner. It's pretty greasy. That's where I use it. It's pretty good for uh, slipping tires on.
Okay, the camera died because it took 25 minutes in total to fill this tire up. There you go. End result. It's got its seat on the bead. I actually done both. I was just going to do an after video to explain a few reasons. Because I think I left out the reason why you would do this. Uh, filling the tire with water was an old derby trick because simple physics, air compresses, water does not. So, and this is a bone stock class. You, know, you have to run car tires or DOT approved car tires, truck tires. So, this was my alternative. I'm not allowed to double stuff them. So, went with the uh, water idea. Now, the tube. Go over that too. The tube was a brand new tube. Those are completely collapsed. Usually, when you get them, have no air. Do not take the valve core out. I know that's a faster way. Maybe when it took 25 minutes to fill it, but that was a faster way to. Yeah, that is a faster way to air them up. But for this case, leave the valve core in it. That way, you don't have to worry about air sucking into it. Now, the next thing is, I was like, I was curious, so I got the scale out. Double stuff tire, which I have inside and used to weigh. 80 pounds. Tire filled with water, 161 pounds. So realize that this is a very heavy tire now. And I guess be careful with them. I will be mounting them on the car later, but I thought I'd go over a few things. Give you a quick shot of the uh, tool a little bit better. Like I said, I just took, when I moved my washer to swap them, I bought some super long ones, so I took the old short ones. I have been using to wash my hands off the garden hose. <laughs> yeah, cut the end off, and that's just my air check that normally goes into the air hose. With the, that's the quick connector. Just stuffed in the hose. Hose happens to be close to a quarter inch hose, like you know, most air hoses. Stuffed in there, one hose clamp. Good to go. And I still have a tube left, so I could try and double stuff another tire. Plus, I got a used one up there, so. Not a bad day. Four tires done. And still got a tube left. It's a good day. Anyways, so there you go. Just an idea for to try, if you want, of running water in your tires. Like I said, you're not allowed to run fancy tires or double stuff them. The second thing is, like I was doing this, I it's going to push air out of the rim. There's going to be air escaping between the tube and the tire. But... Using water, you know for sure that you didn't pinch a tube because if you don't see a bunch of water coming out, it pretty much is good to go. Same thing with right now. If I start seeing water coming out of the tires or puddle in the water and it hasn't rained, I know the tires leak. But there you go. I'll let you go. The only other issue, funny issue I did is like, uh, how many gallons does it fill? Well, I tried to measure it before my water meter, after my water meter. It says two two. Two gallons, two gallons, which could possibly maybe be right, but the problem is two gallons of water does not uh, equal the extra 80 pounds difference between a double stuff tire and a water filled tire. So you can do the math, you know, two gallons of water does not weigh 80 pounds. So I don't know, it's more than two gallons, I would say. So, there you go. The uh, list is getting bigger for some reason. And I'll get back to work. See you guys later.